What you guys got another video here for you on how to boost Wi-Fi speeds in Windows 10 in five simple steps. So let's take a look here. We've got our Wi-Fi connected and what we're going to do is optimize it to make sure that we're getting the best performance out of our uh, connectivity here. So what we're going to do here is first go down to the start button here and right click on this and we're going to need to go to device manager. Click on device manager and this will open up the little panel here. What we need to then go to is network adapters and we're looking for our Wi-Fi uh, network adapter here. You can right click on this and then go to properties. Once we click on properties, the properties box will open. Go up to where it says power management and make sure you remove the tick that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. We disable this because we want to make sure that the Wi-Fi adapter is getting full power at all times. So click OK. And then what we're going to do is go back into our network adapter again, right click and go to properties. And then we want to go to advanced. And then we've got a bunch of options inside here that we can change and tweak. Now the first one we're looking at is transmit power. When you go to the value, you'll see lowest to highest. And if you put it on the highest, it means you're going to transmit uh, much more power and uh, transmit your signal a little bit better. Next up, we have throughput booster. It's also known as throughput enhancement. This is normally set to disable. When you only have one device on the wireless network or you are streaming a video, you may want to enable this feature. However, there is a side effect to it which prevents other computers on the network from having equal access to your Wi-Fi network. If you have no problem with that, then enable this feature and you should get better Wi-Fi signal and strength and connectivity with that uh, setting there. Next up, we've got roaming aggressiveness. You're going to see a bunch of settings inside here from highest to uh, lowest. Now, basically what this is, is the setting is suggested for home wireless networks. And when you're on a business network and move from uh, place to place, the setting should be set to minimum. So you can have this on the I setting. It's a, a something that you might want to implement to see better performance. Next up, you've got your preferred uh, band. You can see here, no preference. Or if you just want to use five gigahertz, and all the time you can put this on preferred 5 gigahertz. Again, if you want to have preferred 2.4 gigahertz, then you can put it on that one. Or you have no preference and it will connect uh, to the strongest band there, depending on what you want to do there. Now, um, you can see here, that is our five settings here for our Wi-Fi adapter. What we need to do is close this off and go to the command prompt now. And we're just going to reset our WinSock. So what we're going to do is type CMD in the search, run this as administrator, open up the command prompt box here, and we need to type in uh, this command here. So put NET SH space win and then SOC, all one word, like so, space reset, push enter, and this will reset the WinSock. You may need to reboot your PC, as you can see here. So restart the PC. Once you've restarted, you're pretty much good to go. I'll just show you one more thing just to make sure that you have this service enabled because I know a lot of people to dis disable their services. Uh, so I just want to make sure that you've got this one enabled. So go down to the search box and type services here and open up the services pane. Once you've got this open, you should see a bunch of services inside here. Now, if you have been disabling stuff, then you may want to check this one out to make sure this is on automatic. Go down until you see where it says uh, W uh, LAN. And once you see W LAN, just make sure this is set to automatic and then basically start the service. You can see here, there's a bit of information on the left hand side. You can read that information, what it actually does. Well, once you've got that set to auto and the service is running, click uh, OK. And then you can head over to the motherboard manufacturer's website for your motherboard and download the very latest Wi-Fi drivers. If it's a Wi-Fi card, just make sure that you have got the very latest driver installed on your system. You can go over to the motherboard manufacturer's website. Mine has built-in Wi-Fi on it and select the very latest driver. You can see here it does improve uh, system stability 
and also other stuff on there as well. So always keep that updated. And sometimes Windows doesn't do a good job at updating all of your drivers. So always check the motherboard manufacturer's website. Now, if you don't know what your motherboard manufacturer is, then you can go to the search box and type system information and open up the system information under system summary and you'll see your motherboard make a model number here. That's if your Wi-Fi is built into your motherboard. If it's a separate card, then you have to do a bit of research and find the drivers for that particular card. Anyway, that's basically how you can tweak your advanced Wi-Fi adapter settings inside Windows 10 and speed up your Wi-Fi connectivity. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Have a great weekend. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.